like remind in this video is a vlog. It's kind of like a behind the scenes of the photo shoots that I have filmed for my project Fear For What. If you don't know what Fear For What is, it's a personal project of mine that I created and it's basically about the things that you fear. So in the project I talk about fearing your skin color, fearing your natural hair, having fears about long distance relationships, long distance friendships, fear of success, just a whole bunch of topics. Basically that's what I talk about in the project. So this is my second personal project that I created myself. If you don't know what 18 is, you definitely should go watch that because that was my first personal project. That kind of made me realize that wow, like I really enjoy creating things myself and like being the creative director of something and really just seeing your vision come to life when something's in your head and you're able to really articulate and find people who actually genuinely want to see the project look as amazing as it could look. It's just something that's so satisfying. So right now, that's what I'm doing for my second one, Fear For What. Today is the first day for this photo shoot. I'm going to be shooting one shoots called No Gender. No Gender is basically about how I feel like you should be able to wear whatever you want. If you're a boy and you want to wear a dress, you can. If you're a girl and you want to wear a suit, you can. If you're anything in between, you can wear whatever you want. I feel like clothes should have no gender. I just feel like you should basically feel liberated to wear whatever you want, whenever you want. So that's what this shoot's about. So I'm going to be taking you along with me. This shoot, I'm going to be serving like five to six different looks. And I'm not sure if I know exactly which all of the six I want to actually wear right now. I've been super busy, so I haven't really actually been able to plan every single outfit. But I'm about to do that now. So you guys will see it happen live right here, right there. And I will show you guys all the outfits. So right now, these are the only ones that I know I want to shoot. But then any other ones, I don't know what I want to do. And I know I want about five to six looks. And I want some to be super masculine and some to be super feminine, if that makes sense. But yeah, let's just get on to this vlog. Okay, so I'm dressed in my first look for the shoot, no gender. I need to leave like exactly now. So like we're about to get in the car, we're about to go. Okay, so this was the first shoot we actually did. I ended up changing my outfit from the purple look because this was gonna be the easiest and fastest for us to do. And then after that, we just did this shoot, which was also very quick to do. This shoot got published in a magazine, so I'm completely, completely here for that. And then after that, we just did this shoot, which was also very quick to do. This shoot we did outside, which I was kind of nervous for a little bit, only because like I've never been outside in a dress. Well, I never really wore a dress anyway, but it was kind of like new for me. But literally, I also didn't really care, and I it was a fun experience. I was kind of curious also how these were gonna turn out because of the background. Like I wanted to just be sky, so like all of these like ugly buildings like about around me, I was kind of curious to see like how the photos were actually gonna turn out. And then we have the purple look. We had to, you know, get the chairs and the fake plants and everything like that, set up the lights in the background. So this one was like, I guess the most time consuming, even though literally it was just not that time consuming. As you can see, we wasn't really doing that much, but this is probably one of my favorites, just probably because this is one of my favorite looks as well. And then for this one, I love how these came out too. We just got like this ripped up <laughs> backdrop and we like just did really close shots. I really love these. I was also curious how these were gonna come out too, just because of like the ripped background in the back. I wanted to see how that was actually gonna look, but it turned out to look really good. And then for this one, this was the last one that we did. And I only like literally selected one photo that I wanted back from this one, but that was just because there were so many other good photos from all the other shoot. But I love the meaning behind this and I just love this shoot in general. So I'm back home now from my shoot, no gender. So now one out of 12 shoots are finally done for my project. I'm super excited for it. It went really, really well. And she took my vision and she made it better. And that's why I love her. Tatiana, if you're watching this, you're amazing. I'm so glad that you are a part of my project. So yeah. Okay, so for this day, I modeled with my cousin Rob and the photographer was one of my favorite photographers that I call a brother to me. His name Tosin, so you guys should definitely follow both of them. But yeah, we shot this look today. It was super easy. It was supposed to be outside, but it was raining this day, so we had to kind of basically change the entire shoot. But it was cool, I love how they turned out, and it was amazing. Oh, 
Okay, so me and my best friend Journey are about to go on my photo shoot for my shoot, Fear to Die. About to go get my makeup done with her, and then I'm about to go to the actual shoot. So I'm gonna take her along with me today. And yeah. For this, I had a mood board for every single shoot out of the project, but for this, I definitely wanted to get into my makeup bag. Well, not like I did the makeup, but I wanted to, you know, get creative with the makeup look I could do, which I always try and do. But I just love the whole like 3D looking teardrop, so I definitely wanted to find a makeup artist. I actually do this. Makeup artist I use, I'm so glad I used it for her. I'll definitely tag her. I love her as well. And then after that, we headed to the actual studio. That was really nice. I took my best friend with me. Hey, oh, he's leaving. Look cute. Oh. This is Shelly, one of my absolute favorite photographers of all time. So glad I know her, so glad I met her, so glad that she's been in all of my projects so far. And I just wanna shout out Shelly, she's definitely amazing. If you guys are in Cleveland and you ever wanna start modeling or you are a model, I thought you definitely all should go check out her page, follow her, reach out to her, all of that. Me and Miss Keisha just got finished. Ain't that right, Miss Keisha? Who's, who's Ain't that right, Miss Keisha? Yeah. Oh, hey! I didn't even peep. Now we about to go to Wendy's and I'm about to drop this little rug right off at home. And that's on period. Okay, so for this shoot, I kind of scrapped this entire like backdrop situation. It didn't really go with the mood board that I really wanted to embody. So we ended up just going outside and like reshooting it into a kind of a whole different vibe. But this backdrop situation didn't really go with exactly the vision I wanted. So for this day, we shot a look called Friends Forever with my best friend, Logan. Absolutely love her. It was so fun shooting with her. What's so awkward? We had three different like locations we wanted to do. We wanted to do some shots in the bed. We also wanted to do some shot like from just us in the sky. And then we also wanted to do some shots. We really couldn't see our face. You just saw us like, you know, in the same shirt. This is hilarious. And then we also wanted to do some shots in the water. The water shots that we ended up doing, the water was very, very cold. The floor of, or the ground we were like laying going like in the water was very, very slimy. As you can look at her butt, like it's very dirty. My whole like pink outfit was stained. We were so cold. Like he ripped off her eyelashes. She was screaming. Like it was, it was like very kind of unbearable, but we got the shot for it. So that's all that really matters. <laughs> And then yeah, obviously this wasn't all 12 photo shoots documented for this behind the scenes vlog, but this is definitely, you know, some of them just so you guys can see kind of how like the shoots go. And also if you want to check out all the other photo shoots that weren't in this vlog, you should definitely go check out my Instagram because they're all on there. And yeah, a visual for this entire project is still coming. So yeah, that's it for me. So bye guys. <laughs>